few minutes. We'd like to go to 1 Samuel chapter number 17. Bible scholars and students of the Bible know where I'm going. 1 Samuel chapter number 17.
says that during the we dropped out, but then knows that what he did was that he put in personal interest to the crime to the owners of Israel and said to them, Why are you coming out set into battle and in raid? Am I not a Philistine and be in the service of Saul? Choose you a man for you, for you and let him come down to me. If he be able to fight with me and to kill me, then we'll be your servants. But if he prevail, but if I prevail against him and kill him, then shall he be our servants and serve us. So this Philistine came out and said that he defiled the ornaments of the Lord. And so when we look at the question back to what we read in, in verse number 26, there's three questions that are asked there. David's just in one. He's asking these questions. Question one, number one puts it this way. What will be done to reward the man who kills the Israel and take away the shame from Israel? Question number two. Who does this uncircumcised Philistine think he is? Verse, uh, question number three. Does he think he can speak against the armies of the living God? These three questions are asked in our subject today. But we want to lay some foundation as we talk about <coughs> that he came out and talked about and they talked about the found of have no respect for the army of Israel. And, I, and so we have to catch a certain important point here in verse number 11. When Saul and all of Israel heard those words of the Philistine, they were dismayed and greatly afraid. When you look at the seriousness of the situation, and even the seriousness of the day and time that we live in, there's no time for the men of God to be dismayed. There's no time for men of God to be afraid. Because we don't have to stand up. That's why it's time to man up. <coughs> and now, so we look at this story. And so now it shifts to verse, in verse number 12. Now this shifts to David. Now the first, the first mention of him. Tell who he is. Jesse's son. He has eight brothers. Well, Jesse has eight sons, and David is the youngest. And so he said, and then so uh, Jesse gives David an assignment that he is to go. Well, let me add this point here, because it's important. Verse, verse number 15. And David went to return from Saul to feed. Father's sheep, just to be the sheep. And yet now he's told that, and, 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 and take note, verse number 16, that the Philistine drew nigh morning and evening and presented himself 40 days. So morning and evening, for 40 days, he sit there and said, what's in verse number 8, 9, and 10? 40 days, morning and evening. So Jesse gives David an assignment. To take uh, take the loaves, take uh, take the wheat and corn to his brother loaves, and take it to feed his brother. Take corn, take cheese to the captains of the thousand, and then bring them back a report of how your brothers are doing. Young man, just to attend his job is to attend the sheep. Now he's given the assignment. Go take them lunch. Go take them lunch. These jobs seem so mediocre. So unimportant. Oh, no, but the Bible lets us know that the leadership is already in this made. <coughs> and so if we look at this story here, we see that David does exactly what, what uh, his father told him to do. He goes and he takes his and he gets up early and he goes to take the, the lunch to his brothers, but he hears that he arrives at the time that they are coming to a raid where the boys are lined up. What do you expect a young man to do? When he sees this, and he's enthused and inquisitive, and he sees something in excitement going on. I think he mentioned, the brother mentioned about the football games and things. You go to football games and tell 60, 70, 100,000 people at a football game just to see what happens. And so when you see these army line up, it's a society 
And David asked that question, what shall be done to the man that killed the Philistine and taken away the reproach from Israel? Not only but that's why the enemy must be defeated. That's why we as children of God, baptized believers, we must stand on God's word and show this dying world that Jesus lives. And that's the reality and serve the truth and living God. It's more than just killing the jack. We have to take away the three protests. Let the world know that Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Besides him, there is no other. We fight 
lose as much time as you're trying to smile in the pastor's face. Well. You lose as much time to pray and ask God to help somebody. We can move on to another level. But everybody wants to be a title. Everybody wants a position. Everybody wants my name called. Man, because I didn't get to leave the choir. Can't even sing a bit.